welcome to Mommy Monday. It's Saturday today and we're getting some errands done around the house. Nothing's going on that's super exciting yet, but of course, you never know what's going to happen. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about the pregnancy, how are things going, so I'm doing great. I'm feeling great, everything is going well, and I'm going to show you guys my bump because I've started to show finally, so here, I'm going to see if you can see it. There we go. I'm really excited. Um, anyway. I'm gonna get on with the day. Well, this is becoming a trend. Zach doesn't have any shoes. Look, I found one sandal and one shoe. Daddy found a sandal and a shoe. I found a boot. David found a boot. Let's hope we have some shoes for Zach. Okay, we found two sleds. Daddy found some shoes. They're sandals, but that's better than nothing, right? Yeah. You gotta remember your shoes. David's gonna unbuckle Michael. We're trying to go get all the kids some haircuts right now. It usually takes a really long time. But they're gonna look good, I think, huh, buddy? Yeah. They did their hair for me this morning. I know, but it's gonna look really good when it's all fresh, I think. Let me see the back. Yeah, it's getting a little long back there. Wow, you look nice. And you look nice. Looks like Michael didn't go yet. Are you doing your haircut? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you're so nice. Do you like that part? Yeah, I know it. I, like I know you love that part. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? Hey David, let's see your haircut. Turn all around, looks good. And let's see Michael's. <laughs> Look at you, Michael. Michael looks nice, too. Oh, yeah. We're on the way to the kids' music lessons. Alyssa's gonna go to her first private clarinet lesson, and Zach is gonna start ukulele lessons. <laughs> so he's finally here. Is it good, Zach? Yeah. Good. Did you learn something? Yeah, a lot of things. Good. So how was your lesson? Good. To know the um, notes he taught me. Show me. Um, he was going to teach me six, but I knew four of them already. Oh my gosh. So let me hear some. So he um, taught me um, this. Really hard. Okay. Oh. And he taught me. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. That. C. And then G. And then A minor. And then F. Push your strings all the way. There you go. Guess how good Zach is. How good? I don't even know one note. I know. <laughs> Zach's doing really and, good. And I learned how to stop it like that. Show me. Wow. Do you know how we do it? We strum and then do that really softly. Do it again. Good. Like so you want to go back really bad? It's pretty fun, huh? We're going to get Zach a case this week because he's still using the box yeah. that it came in for Christmas. I also wanted to show you guys some of Alyssa's soccer tournament. She's got a fantastic soccer team with a wonderful coach and they've done so well. They've won two championships already and they're playing in this regional tournament that's like a city versus city thing and her team's so good. They've got a great record. They've only lost one game the entire season and the game that they lost, they actually came back and beat that team in the finals. So. It was, it was good. Ready, Daddy? Hey, Daddy. 
Turn around, Alyssa. Turn around, Alyssa. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go. There you go. Ready, Maddie? Throw it over their heads next time. Okay, ready to take it home, Alyssa. Go, 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 go. Alyssa, as hard as you can. Hard, hard. In the middle. To the Go, Alyssa. Daddy, get open. Alyssa is good at throwing it in. Get it in. I love it. Oh, good job. Take it in. Two. Open. Go, go, go. Good job, Alyssa. Well, we took the kids to this place we were going to let them play at. It's this indoor playland, and we thought it looked really fun. So we got there, and there was a ton of cars, and we went inside, and it turns out there was a bunch of birthday parties going on. It was super crowded. So we decided not to go there, and we think we're gonna just try to go next week sometime when it's a little less crowded. And after that, we were like, well, we're already out. We have some exchanges to do at the store, so let's go do that. So we got there, the mall was super crowded as well, but we finally got a parking spot. We got like the first spot, which is a miracle. We get out, we get the stroller out, everybody's ready to go. And then we realized we left the returns and exchanges at home. So <laughs> we basically spent our time driving around doing pretty much nothing all evening tonight. And now we're just gonna head back home. What did you do, Michael? Is there something on the ground over here? Yes, it came all the way over here. Uh oh. Michael just dropped. Back up, you're gonna cut your foot back up. Where this Pyrex measuring cup of mine. Oh my gosh, Matt, it's way, it came way over here went, too. Across the entire kitchen. I've had this one since college. I actually like this one. It was that cute little one cup measuring cup we always use in our cooking videos. What happened? Michael, Michael dropped the back. I wouldn't walk much past there, just. Just to put that last little bit in perspective, we've had the kids in bed for a couple hours and I went into Zach's room because I heard some music coming and I was like, what's going on in there? And that was him practicing the ukulele and I was just like, how do I get mad at that? How do you be mad that your kid loves their instrument so much that they get out of bed and they try to learn more, even if it's at night? So anyway, it was cute. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get to some questions from you guys. So the first one comes from Aaron who asks if anyone knows about my secret spice rack yet? And the answer is no. It is seriously one of my best kept secrets. Only the people that you know about know about it. So none of the boys know yet. Artastic World asks about my sister's dog, Meg. And Meg does not live with us anymore. She lives with my parents, but we go and visit her. And also the breed that she is, is a Border Collie Kelpie mix. Casey asks what the kids want us to name our new baby. Now, along those lines, we're gonna be posting our gender reveal later this week, so definitely stay tuned and watch for that. But in the meantime, Michael, oh, are you tired? <laughs> what do you wanna name the new baby? What should we name the new baby? Uh, I don't know. You don't have any ideas? I don't know. Usually Michael has three names he tells me that he always wants to name the baby. Do you remember your friend's names that you like to pick? Yes, those are the names. He wants to name the baby Maggie, Audrey, or Jared. So those are his top picks and they have not changed. Oh my gosh, I'm laughing so hard because Michael just announced the gender. <laughs> that was so funny, you're so cute. Okay, <laughs> okay, I think I've recovered um, from the last question. Um, Marlene asks, how many cousins the kids have? So the kids have about seven cousins and they all live far away. So unfortunately we don't see any of them as much as we would like to. And she also asks, am I the oldest, the middle, or the youngest of my own siblings, and I'm the oldest. Michael was just answering the questions, and now he's fallen asleep. And Heather's hiding because 
She doesn't want to be shown in an unflattering position, which is totally understandable. Never flattering, we've seen laying down. I totally get that. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Natasha asks about things that we wish we could do that we haven't been able to do yet or just can't do. And I think there are some things I would like to do or I wish I would have done, I guess. Like, I would love to have taken more private music lessons so I could develop more of my music skills. And what else? But she's already like really good at everything, <laughs> so she's just. But still, I don't know. I could be better at things. Um, and you wanted to play baseball as a kid? That's true. I really wanted to play baseball. I wish I would have played sports in high school. I didn't do any sports in high school. I didn't even know I liked sports until I was an adult. And I wish I would have done that. She makes every shot she takes on the basketball. I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's just trying to make me. She has a really good jump shot. <laughs> She stands I love basketball. <laughs> she's great. But Matt's really good at basketball too. Um, let's see. I would love to get my nails done like every single week. That would be like amazing. But I don't do that. <laughs> what else? Anything? What about for you? I'm trying to think. This is a good question. We'll pause. Should we pause? Yeah. Something else I was looking into doing that I never got to do was open a music school. I was really looking into it so we could try to just either have our own store or school, you know, and now we're still looking into like trying to find a way to provide music lessons for people who can't afford it because music is a really big part of our lives. So the door's not closed in that area. It's just that we're really busy right now. Yeah, and right now we're just trying to get all the music for our kids and that's yeah. like a full-time job. Yeah. Um, I wanted to study abroad when I was in um, college and I never got to do it, and I really wanted to go to Spain. Spain was like my number one place that I really wanted to go to. And I've never been outside of like the continental United States, like so I've never been to Europe or anywhere over there, so I would still love to go there. I don't know if I ever will, but I would love to do that. And we need to go to Dubai for yeah, New Year's. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be amazing. What about you? Tell me your bucket list. Um, Things you can't do. I want to have more time to play the saxophone and teach some students. I performed somewhere we used to live and I uh, had quite a few students, high school students. Some of them went on to play in college, but I really enjoy doing jazz and improvising on the saxophone and that's just something that now I don't have any time to do. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're really busy. <laughs> But I have all my saxophones and one day I will play them. Maybe on the channel yeah. perhaps. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave us some questions for next week. Leave us some good ones. I like really good questions. I like answering good things. Um, I don't know what qualifies good, but anyway. And don't forget to watch this week because we're going to tell you if we're having a boy or a girl. All right. Bye.